good morning to each of you. This is Pastor Peter Chamberlain, and uh, I know we were going to be meeting, be able to have devotions down at the State House this morning, but um, I did see on the schedule that you did have an early caucus at 8 a.m., followed by session at 9 a.m., and so I know trying to get people there a little bit earlier, but uh, I wanted to let you know that we're praying for you. I wanted to send out this brief video devotion this morning just to be able to let you know that you're on our hearts and our minds that we're praying for you and just to be able to share a few things be encouraging to you from the word of god and so if you have a few minutes um to be able to watch the video um, i'm also attached the paper form of the bible study to this email in which this came but i pray that each of you are having a great day as we're praying one for another i know there's a lot going on but let me share just a few things with you the bible study on the benefits of prayer and I know that's why we meet uh, before we go into caucus, before we go into session, is for the subject matter of praying one for another and also praying for the day. And so I want to read to you James chapter 5, verse number 16. The Bible says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And I'm interested, I love that where it says availeth much. There's so much that can be accomplished uh, through the matter of prayer. It's just a matter of us doing it. And so I wanted to share a few things as we look down through here. First of all, James chapter 1, verse 5, we see that prayer produces wisdom. The Bible says, If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that, that which giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. There is not a, a session that goes by, not a prayer meeting that goes by, that we have one with another that someone does not request um, to be able to pray for wisdom and the necessity of wisdom. We looked at that a few weeks ago, but uh, through prayer. And the Bible says that if we lack wisdom, we can ask God. That giveth to all men liberally. He's, go he's not going to hold anything back that we are going to be able to pray. Ask God for wisdom, and it will be produced. It will be given to us. And so... Really, if it comes down to it, if we're lacking wisdom in any area, it's not God's fault for all that. It's actually our fault because he said, if you lack it, if I lack it, then let's ask him. So prayer does produce wisdom. Second of all, I want you to see that prayer accomplishes the impossible. And uh, the very next verse that we looked at, verse number six, he uses the word uh, nothing wavering. When we are praying in faith without doubt, nothing wavering that god is able to do the impossible through prayer you say well why should we pray then if god's going to do it i believe this i believe that prayer is our acknowledgement that we are depending up uh, depending upon god and so we put our full faith full trust full dependence um in god almighty and we show that through prayer that we come to him say god this is impossible it is too much for me to be able to do, and God, through prayer, I'm coming to you asking you to work. That is our avenue for speaking to God. And so not only does prayer accomplish the impossible, but prayer produces wisdom. And then finally, let me share this with you, um, prayer brings peace. We're reminded of that in Philippians chapter number 4. He says, be careful for nothing. That word careful deals with the the anxiety and the carefulness and getting worried be anxious be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication let your requests be made known unto god but see that's through prayer the very next verse verse number seven says and the peace of god which passeth all understanding the peace of god that comes through prayer that we get to spend time almighty god we get to spend time right before his very throne through the avenue of prayer and i don't know about you but i found out this even when we physically cannot do a thing about it when we pray we've laid it at the feet of jesus and there's a peace that overwhelms our soul just because of prayer and so we see prayer we see supplication we see the promise of his peace and his presence to be able to overwhelm us when we come in prayer. So if you're lacking wisdom today, that's a benefit of prayer. You can ask God for wisdom. 
if you're facing the impossible, which right about now, as you're looking at the state house, you're looking at all the bills, everything to be accomplished seems like an undaunted task to be able to overcome. We can accomplish it through prayer, accomplishes the impossible. If we need peace, we're anxious, we're careful, things, so many things going on in our hearts, that can be done through prayer. Take it before the Lord. But most of all, I want you to know that we're praying for you. You're in our hearts. You're on our minds. And I want you to know you're not there by yourself today. You may get this afterwards tonight, but hopefully it'll be an encouragement to you. And also just read down through there with your Bible and you can look at the Bible study lesson and uh, we're looking forward to getting together next week. If, if there is session, we'll keep you posted on that. And uh, looking forward to the time together. But I want you to know we're praying for you. And uh, feel free to reach out if there's anything that's needed whatsoever that we can specifically pray about. But have a great day on purpose. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you and have a great day.